I'm getting very close to applying a ceramic coating on my 2018 Honda Goldwing. But there's one more step I have to complete. You know, maybe I got a little bit ahead of myself on this video series. Let's back up and start over. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage Ultimate Motorcycle Detailing Series. In this series, I'm covering the four steps necessary to apply a ceramic coating to the paint on my motorcycle. Now, those four steps include step one, washing the motorcycle, step two, decontamination, step three is polishing, and the fourth step is actually applying the ceramic coating. I've already covered the first two steps, and I'm going to put links in to those videos in the description of this video, and I'll put them up above too. However, as I was preparing the script for the video on step three, which is the polishing step, I realized that I may have left out a very important video that really should have been the very first video in the series. So I'm going to go back and call this step zero. Why am I even doing this in the first place? So today, we're going to talk about paint protection, why it's necessary, and some of the different options that are out there for you. In this series of videos, I'm working on my 2018 Honda Goldwing, which has a pearl white metallic paint. However, the techniques, tools, and products used in these videos should work with any brand of motorcycle or any vehicle for that matter. And remember, if you're passionate about motorcycles, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and that notification bell. None of the products that I mention in these videos have paid me to mention their names. This video is not sponsored by any company or product. I purchased every product used in these videos. However, videos like this one would not be possible without the support of those Honda Goldwing owners who have purchased my Goldwing maintenance video series. So if you want more information about those videos, I'm going to put links in the description of this video for that information. One caveat before we get started. The techniques, chemicals, and other things described in this video series are specifically for vehicles with a glossy clear coat. If you happen to have a vehicle with a matte finish paint, I'm not sure if these same techniques apply, and I would advise caution. Perhaps you need to do a little more research on how to care for matte finishes. As I've said before, I am not a detailing professional. I'm just a hobbyist who has a passion for detailing. I like keeping my cars and motorcycles looking their best, and I've adopted the products, methods, and techniques of some reputable auto detailing professionals. Now, if this is a subject that really interests you and you want more in-depth information, I'm going to recommend that you check out Pan the Organizer's YouTube channel, where he has hundreds of auto detailing videos on any topic you could ever want to know about. I'll put links in the description of this video to his channel. All modern vehicles, your motorcycle included, already comes from the factory with paint protection in the form of a clear coat. The clear coat is the topmost layer that is sprayed on top of the base coat, which of course is sprayed on top of some form of primer. The base coat is the layer that contains the pigment or the color of your paint. The clear coat protects the base coat from UV rays, contaminants, and other environmental damage. Now, as you can see in this pretty unscientific graphic, the clear coat is the thickest layer of the painting process. The clear coat is not perfectly flat. If you were to look at the paint job through a microscope, like a cutaway, you'd probably see a bunch of hills and valleys exist in the surface of that clear coat. Also, Clear coat finishes tend to be relatively soft and can scratch easily. Some clear coats are so soft, you can actually scratch them with your fingernail. The clear coat is what gives your paint job that high gloss appearance because 
it reflects light. When the clear coat becomes damaged, scratched, marred, or even oxidized, that gloss diminishes or can go away altogether. So when we refer to paint protection in these videos, we're really talking about taking measures and applying products that will protect the clear coat. If left unprotected, the clear coat can and will deteriorate over time and provide less protection for the base coat. The environment is constantly attacking your vehicle's clear coat. UV rays, brake dust, rail dust, environmental fallout, hard water, chemical overspray, bug guts, bird droppings, and in fact, bug guts and bird droppings can be acidic and actually can etch through that clear coat and do some real damage. The paint job on your motorcycle or car or truck is constantly under attack from these conditions. And not only can they damage the paint, but they detract from the motorcycle's appearance and overall appeal. When we take measures to protect the clear coat, we're able to accomplish several things at once. We can improve the appearance of the motorcycle, we can make the paint easier to clean and maintain, and we can help the paint to last longer. Up until about 20 years ago, the only recognized form of paint protection was a car wax. Now these waxes, primarily derived from the carnauba plant, which I think only grows in Brazil. The leaves of this plant kind of put out a substance that protects the leaves of the plant from UV rays and I believe gives some hydrophobic properties. And manufacturers figured out how to extract that substance and create products that could be applied to automotive paint finishes to increase the gloss of the paint and give the paint additional hydrophobic properties. And there are many purists that still claim Carnuba gives the highest quality look. It gives the painted surface a warmer glow that's hard to achieve with other products. I mean, how many of us grew up using like kit wax on our first cars? Come on. Modern car waxes come in a variety of forms, and some are still available as paste waxes, while others are now spray on, wipe off. The downside to a car wax is that it only provides protection for one or two months, after which it needs to be reapplied. It's just simply not that durable. It gives an amazing look, but it doesn't last very long and has low chemical resistance. The next category of paint protection falls into these synthetic paint sealants. Now, where carnauba waxes are derived from plant-based materials, these products are synthetic and have the advantage of, one, they're very easy to apply, and they last longer. Many of them can just be sprayed on and wiped off. They can deliver protection, some of them for up to one year. However, in most real-world scenarios, they'll most likely last anywhere from four to six months, but still, more than twice the durability of a carnauba-based wax. The disadvantage to synthetic sealants is they don't give you that warm gloss appearance that you can get from a carnauba wax. So with a sealant, it's a little bit of a trade-off. You lose some of the car show-like gloss appearance in exchange for added durability. Now, don't get me wrong. These sealants can still deliver incredible gloss and appearance, just not quite the same look as you get with carnauba wax. Now, at the top of the paint protection food chain are ceramic or graphene coatings. Now, I'm not going to get into the weeds on the differences between ceramic coatings and graphene coatings because there are many similarities, especially in the durability and how these products are applied to your paint. So when I mention ceramic coating in this video, it's implied that I'm also referring to graphene coatings as well. And if you're that interested in this topic, I would again direct you to Pan the Organizer's channel. He has a great video on this topic that compares the differences. Now, if any of you have researched having a ceramic coating applied to your motorcycle or your car professionally, you already know that it can be quite expensive. 
It can cost $1,000 to $2,500 to have a ceramic coating applied to a Honda Goldwing. In fact, if any of you have had a professionally applied ceramic coating at a detail shop, please tell us about it in the comments down below. Now, ceramic coatings were originally only available as professionally applied products. You had to take your car or motorcycle to a body shop or an automotive detailer and pay anywhere from $1,000 to $2,500 to have the vehicle coating applied. And you can still do that today. But back when these products were introduced, there were no DIY options available till about maybe 2014 or 2015. And as you can already tell from my first two Ultimate Detailing Series videos, getting your paint prepped and ready for a ceramic coating can be time consuming. So when you take your car or motorcycle to an auto detailer for a ceramic coating, they have to go through this exact same process. They're going to have to wash your bike. They're going to have to decontaminate it with chemicals and with clay bar. And then they're going to have to go through the polishing step. And finally, they apply the ceramic coating and then they have to allow it to cure. I should mention right now that if your motorcycle dealer is quoting you $300 to $500 for a ceramic coating, you're probably only really getting some form of spray on paint sealant. There's no way they can take the time necessary to do a professional ceramic coating application for that price and make a profit. Today, there are ceramic coating products available to consumers and many enthusiasts are opting to do their own at home and save the money. Ceramic coatings come in small glass bottles like this one from Avalon King. This is the Armor Shield 9. And inside this bottle is a liquid resin along with some solvent carriers that get applied to the clear coat. And once they've cured, they form a semi-permanent bond to the clear coat. The initial curing time is typically around 24 to 48 hours, during which you should not drive or ride the vehicle. Because you don't want to expose the surface to rain or water during the initial curing period. The liquid resin contains high concentration of SiO2, or silicon dioxide, which, as I stated previously, will create a semi-permanent level of protection by bonding to your clear coat. Now, these coatings are two to three times harder than your clear coat, and not only do they provide additional UV protection, but also enhance the gloss and they provide maximum chemical resistance and resist scratches. Chemical resistance can range anywhere from 2 on the pH scale all the way up to 11, 12, or in some cases even 13. So you can use higher pH detergents when washing your vehicle without worrying about adverse effects to the ceramic coating. Perhaps the biggest advantage to these ceramic coatings is that they are super durable. Where Carnauba waxes may only last one, or three, one to three months, and paint sealants five to six months on average, ceramic coatings are typically rated at one to two years or more. Armor Shield 9 is guaranteed to last two years and can last as much as five years. Now, how long these coatings last will depend on the environment your vehicle lives in. Do you keep your bike in a garage or covered? Are you taking measures to maintain your paint properly after applying the coating? We'll talk more about maintenance in a future video. There are a variety of ceramic coating products on the market today available to consumers. After much research into the matter and watching at least, I don't know, 50 YouTube videos on this topic, I have decided to go with the Armor Shield 9 as my ceramic coating of choice for my Goldwing. And if you're interested in Armor Shield 9 for your motorcycle or any other vehicle, I happen to be part of Avalon King's affiliate program. So if you order through the link in the description of this video, it does help to support this channel. Now, that said, there are many other fine ceramic or graphene coatings available. And I'll put links to some of those other products, which I also considered using, I'll put those links in the description of this video, and then you can do your own research.
Okay, let's get one thing straight right now. The term ceramic and graphene are buzzwords in the auto detailing industry. And many companies have begun to add these terms to their product names and descriptions. And this can really confuse the consumer because you might think you're getting a ceramic coating, ceramic coating, when you buy that $20 bottle of Shine Armor. It's important not to confuse a true ceramic or graphene coating with products that claim to have ceramic or graphene ingredients. I even have some turtle wax products that have ceramic properties, which all that means is they do contain some SiO2 or silicon dioxide. But don't get me wrong, these are excellent products, but they are not ceramic or graphene coatings. They're still at the heart, in their base, they're still wax products or paint sealants. They just happen to have a small amount of SiO2 in them. There really is no best form of paint protection. The question is really which one is best for you. It also depends a lot on how much time you're willing to spend to achieve paint protection. If you don't want to spend a lot of time, waxes and paint sealants are the way to go. You just wash your car or your motorcycle and apply a paste wax, wipe it off, or a spray-on wipe-off sealant, and you're good to go. This spray-on wipe-off ceramic wax from Turtle Wax is an excellent product. It can give you up to six months of protection. With ceramic or graphene coatings, there's a lot of prep time involved. Hence, my first two videos and the third one yet to come. These coatings cannot be applied if any other forms of paint protection exist on the clear coat. So if you already have a wax or a sealant currently on the paint, and attempt to simply apply a ceramic coating like this on top, it's not going to bond to the clear coat. Applying a ceramic coating requires a thorough wash, followed by decontamination using iron removers, tar removers, and a clay bar or clay mitt. And then you move on to a machine polishing phase using various compounds and polishes to correct any scratches, swirls, or oxidation. With these coatings, the surface needs to be as perfect as possible because any imperfections would just be sealed in by the coating for a number of years. So it's imperative that we take the time to get the paint right before applying these coatings. So there's a lot more work involved in using a ceramic or graphene coating, but your patience and efforts will be rewarded with protection that's superior and is going to last years instead of months. It should also be noted that the more time you spend prepping your paint, even before applying a simple wax or sealant, the better result you're going to get from these products as well. Removing scratches or swirls from your paint is only going to allow whatever you decide to use to bond better to the paint and look that much better. But since these products are not semi-permanent, it's just not as critical to do paint correction before applying them. So what, if anything, have we learned from this video? There are three primary categories of paint protection. Waxes, paint sealants, and ceramic coatings. Carnauba waxes only last one to three months. Paint sealants typically last from four to six months. Ceramic or graphene coatings can last from one to five years without requiring reapplication. A product that has ceramic or graphene in the name is not the same as a true ceramic or graphene coating. Waxes and sealants are easier to apply. Some are simply wipe on, wipe off, or spray on, wipe off. Ceramic coatings require paint preparation and a curing time. Ceramic coatings provide the ultimate protection from UV rays, chemicals, scratches, and makes the paint slicker and easier to maintain. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button under the video. That really, really helps out our YouTube rankings. Hey, and if you want to, you could go even further by supporting this channel 
and encouraging more videos like this one in the future, check out that new Super Thanks button underneath the video. I look forward to seeing you on the next Cruise Man's Ultimate Motorcycle Detailing video.